Hey Vincent, this is Chapin. I just want to thank you for choosing Surf Pro Techniques. And I want to say this is a really rad, creative way to practice your pop-up in your living room. I think that's a great idea. You mentioned in your email that you've been surfing for about a year and you're transitioning now from a long board down to a short board. Based on the footage that you sent, it seems you're progressing at a very fast pace and the waves that you get to surf will provide a lot more opportunity to get better faster. You asked in your email if it was bad to have too much pressure on your back toes and wanted to know in general if your technique for popping up was good. Throughout the rest of this video, I will go into more detail into every aspect of your pop-up and give you examples and ideas of things to think about. First off, you should know that no, it is not bad to put a lot of pressure on your back toes. However, you don't want to do it in every single situation. Normally surfers put a lot of pressure on their back toes in situations like this. As you can see here, the surfer, Nathan Fletcher, is taking a late drop and needs to have a lot of pressure on his back toes in order to keep the side of his rail in the wave. So as we watch you pop up here, when you put that kind of pressure on your back toes, you're naturally going to have the rail of your surfboard digging more into the wave, which could be a reason that you're falling forward on waves where this is not required. The reason this is happening so often for you is as you can see, when you pop up, you plant your back foot first and then your front foot. When you do this, you are sending a signal to the surfboard to make a hard right. This is only necessary when you're going to make a late drop like this or when you want to make a last minute quick adjustment when you pop up. Ideally what you want is to have both feet land on the surfboard at more or less the same time. You can always expect that your back foot will land a split second first, but you would like them both to land almost at the same time. This is a good example of what I mean. Ignore his technique of his upper body, but focus on his feet as they land almost at the same time when he pops up. Note his back foot here. That is the position you want your back foot to be landing in most of the time when you pop up. This overall technique is not perfect and yours is actually much better. However, you do want your foot to land more like his when you pop up. The location of where your feet land on the surfboard when you pop up is great. Keep doing that. Your chest is up, your chin is up, your eyes are focused in the direction you want to go. That's perfect also. What you can try if you want is to bring your chin up a little more and focus your eyes about three meters down the wave. That might help flatten out your back foot as you pop up. At this point, the most important thing to focus on is getting those feet to land at almost the same time when you pop up. I think it will be a big help for you to keep practicing this like you are in this video in the living room. And you might want to try incorporating pop-ups without the surfboard. For example, doing three sets of 10 as fast as you can just to build up strength and a feeling for it. So in summary, you do a great job with your chest up your chin up, and your pop-up is great with your feet landing in a good position on the surfboard. You just need to work on getting your feet to land more or less at the same time with your back foot flat on the surfboard. You don't need to stay more compact when you stand up. You're already compact enough and it's good. You also don't need to arch your back more than it already is. That's fine. But like I said, if you wanted to bring your chin up just a little more, focus your eyes about three meters down the wave in the direction you go, then that might help flatten out your back foot. I hope that helped, Vincent. Keep up the good work. You can always email me for any other questions you might have. And thank you again for choosing Surf Pro Techniques.